Dr. Francis Pitsilis is back on the cafe to help us understand the difference between Botox and fillers and what they can do for us. Good morning, Francis. Good morning, Mel. So let's start with that then. What is the difference between Botox and fillers? Well, generally speaking, Botox is used in the upper half of the face and fillers in the lower half of the face. Botulin botulinum toxin, or commonly known as Botox, is a purified, very dilute poison. And yes, it was first discovered in the 1800s and for many, many decades it was used for muscle spasm. But in recent times, as well as medical conditions like migraine, it's been used for sweaty armpits and lines around the eyes, the most popular being the frown line or the elevenses. Ah, that was going to be what <laughs> I was going to ask you. What do you use Botox for? So how, yeah. does, it, how does it actually work? It works by blocking the nerve signal to the muscle and then the muscle relaxes that's underneath those lines and so then the lines relax. So it's not actually, you're not actually doing anything to the muscle itself, it's just relaxing the muscle? Well it is relaxing the muscle, yeah. Okay, so I'm just trying to get my head around, so you yeah. inject it in and then it doesn't make the lines vanish, they'll just... No, they'll soften but if you keep using it with time, the lines will soften. Ah. Now it's, um, Ooh, okay. just, I just <laughs> wanted to show you uh, what it looks like and it's a very fine oh, needle. Look at that. Yeah. It's a very small and needle. And it's just a clear liquid like water. The treatment is very straightforward and is over with fairly quickly. Okay. Mm. Well, let's move on then to the same question for fillers. Mm. What exactly are fillers and how, how are they different? Right. Dermal fillers, in, in the most part, are used in the lower part of the face and have been around for well over 20 years in different forms. Currently, most people are using a clear gel-like substance called hyaluronic acid, which... Um, is a sugar. So is it a natural thing? It's a natural sugar. It's made in a factory, but it's a sugar. And basically what it's used for is to restore the volume in the lips. It occupies space to deal with lines around the mouth and even to help lift the face. Oh, right, we can see there on screen a before um, and after. Yep. It's quite subtle. That's a lip treatment that mm. was purposely very subtle, um, but improved everything. So it can actually lift. So how does it mm. work? It works by occupying space for the most part, but the photo you've just seen there was a, a hydrating dermal filler. So depending on how much lift you want and how much hydration you want, there are different mm. dermal fillers that you can use. They're all hyaluronic acid, but they can do different things. So are they safe? Um, in good hands, with knowledge and a medical environment, they're safe. And how long would a filler last for? six to 12 months, but if you have a top up at six to nine months, you'll get 18 months out of it. And what about Botox? How long does that last for generally? Three months are a bit longer if you're lucky. Um, the frown line responds very well because if you keep keep on it, it really, um, you'll find you might not need as much with time. Oh, that's fascinating. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming in Pleasure. and shedding a little bit of light on Botox and fillers. And if you want more from Dr. Francis, go to skinfresh.co.nz.